Today we're going to talk about on the whiteboard, I'm going to show you how to take your rap to the next level. I've got my notes right here on my iPhone right here and uh, we're going to go over it. Uh, if you're a rapper and you want to take it to the next level, I'm going to share you my thoughts on how you can do that. All right. So first of all, I got to go over this really important concept that I, that I need to, to go over with you guys. All right. And that's musicality versus musicality versus lyrics, all right? So uh, I think that it's 2016 here and, you know, hip hop rap has been around for a while. And I think there's a tradition here that uh, rappers write their own lyrics, all right? That, that that's the norm. All right, and I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Uh, that's it's gonna break your hearts out there if you guys are rap fans. But I'm gonna tell you right now: if you think that rap artists, you know, are writing their own lyrics or should be writing their their own lyrics, or that it's dependent on them to write their own lyrics, you live in a place called fantasy. Fantasy land, all right? Um, because uh, rap, rapping has nothing to do with lyrics. Yes, I just said it. It's on YouTube. Gustavo Lord Furiba just said, rapping has nothing to do with lyrics. And before you click the dislike button on YouTube, I'm gonna explain why, all right? Because it's my belief, all right, that lyrics, are separate than musicality. As a rapper, you're actually a singer, all right? You're a fucking singer, bro. As a rapper, you're a singer. And I'll go into that more in depth, all right? Lyrics, that's in songwriting land, all right? These two things right here are completely different. They're completely two different processes and they're not related to each other, okay? A song, and if you think about it this way, a singer, all right, they're gonna, they're gonna sing the song, all right? A songwriter is gonna write the song. It doesn't have to be that the singer writes their own song. They can write their own song, but it's not necessary, so we shouldn't look at rap artists uh, and and discredit them if they don't write their own lyrics. In fact, who gives a shit if they write their own lyrics? Because why? A hit song equals money, baby. <laughs> a hit song equals money. People, they don't, they're not gonna pay you know, whatever it is, 50 bucks, 100 bucks to, to, to a show to watch some fucking amateur hour freestyling shit, all right? They can get that on the fucking streets. They could get that on the playground. They could get that in the, in the high schools, whatever. They want to see hit songs. They want to hear the hit songs that they've been hearing on the radio or whatever, and they want to see the rappers rap that shit. If you, don't, if you don't fucking believe me, fine, bro. If you disagree to disagree, fine, bro whatever but that's the goddamn truth because songwriting equals hit song or excuse me singer plus songwriting if it's good equals a hit song all right so let's go into detail right so as a singer think about it like this you're a rapper you're a singer all right 
So what does that mean? So that means you're you're performing the song in front of an audience. All right. There's this thing called stagecraft. All right, where you know you you, you have the the microphone. You hold it a certain way. You know you hold it like this on access to the to the voice. You know you're not cupping the mic. You know like this or like that. No no no. You're holding like a goddamn professional. All right, sounds okay. Um, and then you're making eye contact with the audience. You're open. You know you have your arms. You know you're very slow. You're very slow, methodical in your movements. You're working the the every uh, part of the stage here, because that's that's what a singer does. All right. If you notice, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. I went to, you know, uh, recently, I uh, went to a Snoop Dogg concert in uh, Ventura, uh, and I went to a Bone Thugs concert. Um, and the very interesting thing that I saw was a similarity that I seen in other concerts because I did uh, concert reviews for the independent and one of the artists I saw uh, was um, uh, Los Tigres del Norte all right and that's a Mexican Norteño group very famous uh, if you don't know who they are Google them they got there it's not just some random fucking Mexicans these guys are the shit right and if you and when you watch the show there's four guys okay and the drummer and they they're pointing to the audience and everything is very very slow very posing very methodical right and then they take their steps and then they go to the next spot on stage all right and they go to the next and they work the next part and they work the next part the same thing bone thugs did the same thing snoop dog even when he rhymes when he's doing his show He's very slow. He's very like chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. Why? And I'll tell you why. Because as a singer, you want to have breath control. Amateur hour, they're jumping around, doing this all this fucking bullshit. And guess what, dude? They're out of breath. They're out of breath. Have you ever seen you know a, a, a rapper on stage doing all kinds of ah, fucking bullshit? Guess what? They get out of breath. And they can't even finish the goddamn song because they're out of breath. And then they got their hype, man, doing the goddamn rhymes for them. So it's like, what's the goddamn point? You know, it's a, it's a fucking shit show. I said it. It's a fucking shit show. All right? So as a rapper, you got to think of yourself as a singer. That's step number one to taking your rapping to the next level. All right? Think of yourself as a singer. Uh, now, the other thing you got to do... Uh, if you're singing, thinking like a singer, right, is you got to develop your breath control. Your breath control. You also got to develop your stagecraft. Alright, so usually you got to be real slow. You gotta use your diaphragm. Check out my other videos when I talk about, uh, you know, uh, overview on, on on breath control singing. Um, project your voice. You know, use the right uh, microphone technique, and uh, eye contact. Engage with your audience. Have an open posture. Stand up straight, and do your thing. You don't have to be like ah. That doesn't necessarily mean you're more energetic. That actually is a distraction. Because I'm going to tell you something, when people watch you on stage, it's like a camera, alright? Every single movement that you do, they're focused straight at you, they're looking straight at you, so everything is, is times a hundred, alright? When you move your hand, do it slow, it's times a hundred. The effect is times a hundred. When you do all this fucking shit, it's like it turns them off, they're like, whoa, it's like sensory overload. Why? Because think about it, in real life, when you're talking to someone, you're like, you know, you kind of look at them and you kind of glance away. It's never like 100% like you're 100% like you're staring at them. But when you're on stage, it's like you're 100% like you're staring at, staring at them. And it's like uh, um, a director with a camera looking at an actor. You don't have to do too much. All right. You just have to um, carry your, your, your intensity. But but in a way where where it can translate um, without without doing too much it's 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 a very subtle thing man but it's very effective when you see uh, world-class musicians on stage uh, artists on stage um, you will you'll see what I'm talking about 
Okay, so breath control, stagecraft, uh, also musicality, all right? What the, what the fuck does that mean? Phrasing. It's not the lyrics that you say, it's how you say them, okay? You're phrasing. And if you don't believe me, check this out, man. I'll tell you, give, give you a good example. Like, let's say, for example, um, uh, uh, Juvenile, back that ass up, right? Use a fire mother, back that ass up, use a fire. I remember when that song came out, it was a huge hit, all right? Very catchy, and I could understand what the fuck he was saying. In fact, I don't think anybody out of New, New Orleans knew what the fuck he was talking about. But it didn't matter. It was a hit. Why? Because it was musical. The way he he way he raps, the way he flows is musical, man. Same thing with like, for example, bossa nova music. Like you don't have to understand Portuguese to like bossa nova because it's musical. All right, that's singers. They actually a classical, classically trained uh, singer knows how to sing in French and German and English. All kinds of languages it doesn't fucking matter because it's, it's the singing all right so phrasing what and and to get more in detail in, into phrasing it's basically uh taking uh the words and 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 making them sound beautiful and making giving them shape giving them a crescendo giving them an accent giving them articulations um uh, you, you know, and using your, your voice as an instrument, okay? So that's basically phrasing, and I'll get more into that in other videos. Okay, so let's go to songwriting land, okay? Um, so we can differentiate what actually is to take your rapping to the next level. Because you got to think yourself as a singer, all right? First and foremost. Now, the songwriting is a different process, all right? So as, as a rapper... Um, you know, I do write my own lyrics because I consider myself a songwriter as well. Um, but if someone came up to me and said, hey, I got a hit song, and I'm like, shit, that's a hit song. I'm gonna just give, I'll, I'll sing that shit. I'll rap saying that shit. I'll get that fucking money. Hell yeah, I would do it. You gotta be fooled not to. You know? <laughs> don't get it twisted, all right? Oh, I don't like that rapper because he's, he's got ghost writers. I'm like, you're in fantasy land, bro. You're in fantasy land, all right? Get your head out of your ass. All right, so songwriting. Okay, what makes effective songwriting? Okay, well, that is different from, from rapping, okay? But if you do write your own lyrics, then you have to study songwriting, bro. So you got to study the two different things as separate, separate pieces to the puzzle, all right? So songwriting, well, you got to study... Uh, poetry you got to study poetry you got to study all, all of it because lyrics is poetry set to music that's what lyrics is all right it's a form of poetry so you got to know um, all of the, the the things that go into poetry the metaphors the similes the assonance the consonants um, themes perspective blah 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 I'll go into that uh, much in depth in another video but you got to study poetry all right. Um, okay. Uh, songwriting. You gotta. Um, it's and, I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it real right here. Rapping. Um, you think about it as rhyming, right? Um, as a songwriting. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you something that that's the last thing you should focus on. If you want to take your rapping to the next level, and if you write your own rhymes or you're 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 a songwriter for rappers. I would definitely, um, the rhyming is the last part of the puzzle, bro. The last part of the puzzle. Because I'm going to tell you something. R rhyming is easy. You can just get a fucking rhyming dictionary and pick up the fucking words out. Or get words that sound similar and put them together. That's easy, bro. That's the easy part. What's hard is I'll tell you. Um... Themes. What are you actually rapping about? Um, because everything is so fucking cliche in rap music. They all talk about the money. They all talk about the hoes. They all talk about this and that fucking shit. You got to make it fresh. You got to make it interesting. Okay? Where it can connect with someone. Alright? 
So, you know, the emotional, uh, uh, the emotional um, connection with with the listener. Okay, that's in essence songwriting. That's what it's all about. It's got to have some type of value. Okay. So if you want to get better with your songwriting, it's got to have some type of value. What does that mean? It's either got to be, um, it's got to be clever, like you got some interesting wordplay or something like that. There's got to be maybe a storytelling. You got to tell a story, or it's got to have some type of emotional. Uh, emotional type of um, connection it's got to be you know uh, you know uh, something that that makes it fresh you know because all in all man the goddamn truth is the song has to have some type of value and you I could think of a million songs like even 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 like Biggie or Tupac or some shit. Uh, they're my uh, Biggie, Tupac, and Snoop Dogg. They're my favorite rappers. Um, but even then, they'll have some songs that are stinkers, bro. That just, I just don't need to listen to it. And then they'll have some songs that are really, really I I just can't stop listening to. I gotta play it like at least every three months. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Because it has some some type of value. You know what I'm saying? Something that I admire about that song. Um, so when you put these two things together, um, a strong uh, song and a strong performance, a singer and a songwriter, when you put that shit together, it it's a better, uh, that's how you take your rapping to the next level. So, um, so if you're, so thank you for watching. Um, again, you might make saying that, well, that's kind of obvious, but you know what? Um, you'd be surprised that, you know, when you're, when you're learning this shit, it's not as obvious as you think of it because, um, traditionally, uh, songwriting and, uh, the performance aspect of rap is usually tradi uh, traditionally combined and, and to really get better, you gotta separate those, analyze those and, and, and learn those as different entities because, um, as a rapper, you don't necessarily have to write your own rhymes. You know, you could do a dibble dabble, whatever, but you know, um, you know, a song, song uh, music is a team sport. Okay, it's a team sport. You gotta gotta have the beat. You gotta have the rhymes. You gotta have the performance. You gotta have the marketing. You gotta have you know the music video. You gotta have you know the promotion. All of that fucking shit. It's a team sport. So um, I hope that 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 helps. These are my these are my opinions. Um, Gustavo Lorfuribe. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if this is helpful to you, okay? Thanks for watching.